Hello everyone, welcome to Let's DevOps. My name is Sumit and in this tutorial we will learn how to run or orchestrate Databricks job using Apache Airflow. So for today's discussion, I'll be following this article. You can find the link of this article in a video description. So now let's understand a bit of context. So when we create a Databricks job or a workflow and you wanted to trigger them maybe based on a schedule or you wanted to trigger them from outside of the Databricks then in that case we need to configure Airflow and this is also one of the combination or one of the uh, job orchestration we have where we create a DAG and that DAG can be of two category uh, it can be created based on schedule or maybe we can also run uh, manually right to set up this we need to have the Airflow environment uh, if you if you are new to Airflow, you can follow this link. Uh, it has a step-by-step uh, -step demo where you can set up your own Airflow. And the second, we need to have a Databricks workflow. So we we I've already created a uh, Azure Databricks where I've created also Databricks workflow to run uh, a job. So now let's understand how we can configure this communication. So if you see here, we have Airflow, we have a DAG and that needs to be integrated or configured with Azure Databricks. So for that, I have a step-by-step -step guide here. So the first time what we need to do, we need to create a connection from Airflow for the Databricks workspace. So for that, I need to log in to Airflow as an admin and then I need to add a connection. Under that, I need to add the PAT token of the Databricks. So for that, I need to first create the, the PAT token of the Databricks. For that, I will just go to the portal And from here, I will go to the my Databricks instance. So since I'm going to use this for a demo, I will try to log in. And I can generate the path token from here. I'll go to the setting and I'll go to the developer development or developer. And from here, I will just create an access token. So I'll generate. So this is how it looks. So this this token is a bit uh, secret. So I will delete after this uh, demo. So as of now, I'll just copy it, and then I will save it here. Now, since I've created a pad token, I've just kept it uh, with me. Now uh, I need to go to the Airflow and add the connection. So let me go to the Airflow. I have to go to admin, go to the connection and here I have to add a connection here and I need to select the Databricks. So here I don't have the connection type as a Databricks so for that I need to install it. Uh, so I will, uh, I think I have added already in a, in a troubleshooting guide here, yeah. So to have a database connector type is missing, then I need to install this. And for that, I need to install this pip install Apache Fair. Okay, so let me first go here. Okay, I need to copy this. Uh, to okay, so I need to install that on those uh, the scheduler, the web server, I guess. So let me go to the Airflow. And here I have the web server, so I'll first go ahead and install it on here. Paste it here. So I'll pause the video until uh, the installation completes. Now the installation is completed on the scheduler, so I need to also do it that for uh, the web server. So I'll open that again, open in the terminal and I'll paste the same command. Okay. Paste it here. Yeah. Okay, again I'll pause the video. Okay, now so installation is completed on the web server. So I'll also install it on uh, worker node. Let me write here. Open in terminal. So I have installed uh, on the 
scheduler on the web server and now I'm installing on the worker so now installation is done on all the servers the web server the workflow now I'll reboot or restart all of the uh, all the tasks here okay so I'll just uh, say stop 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 and uh, I'll start it again meanwhile I'll pause the video so after the installation you make sure that you re restart otherwise uh, the connection will not show so now let me go back to the uh, connection again so here I will just say that uh, Databricks, Databricks connection and I'll pick the Databricks here Databricks and under the host I need to give the URL so I'll just use this okay. and in the password I'll, I'll just save the I'll copy this the path token so anyway I will just delete of the demo so uh, I know it's a bit sensitive so you don't need to share that with anyone else so now I'll try to just save it okay so now I have saved it so now let's go to the instruction okay so maybe you get this kind of error so you make sure that you install uh, on all the server scheduler and then you need to restart as well so let go let me go back so after uh, making the connection ready we need to create uh, the DAG and this code is uh, mainly for uh, how we can uh, set it or run uh, the DataVix DAG as well so I just need to kind of uh, copy this whole thing and I need to go to the DAG uh, and then I'll create as a new my Databricks Databricks tag and then I'll save it here so first uh, I'll save as yes it since it is a python file so Now I need to edit this tag because I need to provide the the job ID, right? So this job ID I need to pick it up from the Databricks. So I'll go to the Databricks here, and this is my job. So if assume that if I want to trigger this job from the Airflow, then uh, since I made the already connection, now I need to create a DAG and I need to attach this job ID in the DAG. So let me go here, update this. Okay. So now this is the, the DAG name is Databricks DAG. Let me let me try to keep the same name with the file name. Okay. Okay. So now the DAG is created here with the, the job ID. Now I'll uh, wait for uh, here to refresh it and then it should appear it here. So I'll just wait for a couple of minutes. Okay, one more thing I need to update it here. I just uh, forgot it. That I need to also update the database connection ID. So I need to find the right connection ID and then from there I need because the connection ID which I've created here. So I go to connection here and I just created a database connection. So that I need to also update in this tag. Let me update this. And save it. So now the two updates I had to do. One is the connection ID and the second the job ID of the Databricks job. So I'll save it now. And I'll wait again. Now let me search it again here. And now I see this is appearing now. So let me go here, try to enable it. Okay. And since it is a SQL as a non, it means that uh, uh, we don't have any SQL on this, so we can manually trigger it. So once I trigger here, the idea is this workflow has to trigger automatically, right? So now 
Now you see here, there's one successful run. Now let me trigger the job again from the airflow. So from here I need to come and then trigger the DAG. Okay, so let's go to the instruction now. Okay, so here we did this. Now we run the DAG manually, okay. Let's go back to the Databricks and see if the job has been triggered or not. Let's refresh it. You see, it got triggered and also got successful as well. And now the same status also we can see it in the, now it's showing as a success, so it uh, the, the run has completed now. Now coming to the instruction, so this is how we run the DAG manually. We can also do a setup it uh, based on schedule. I think that uh, I will add it that in a code as well. So let me see. Okay, so now uh, you can you you can also go here. Uh, I'll I'll put the link in here. And here you see, uh, I have added uh, two DAG. In this one is like you manually and one with the with the, the schedule one. So if you see here for manually we are keeping as a null and for uh, schedule one so this is like if you wanted to run on midnight every sunday so this is called as a cron job you can do set it up you can check it online as well uh, how to set it up as well so this is to if you wanted to run on midnight every sunday this is how you have to set it up okay and the job id and the connection id you need to update and for manually if you see it is a none so if you wanted to trigger manually you set it up a schedule as a null so i think that's all with this demo uh, if you have any issue while configuring or running, let me know in the comment box. I'll be happy to help and hope this will be helpful for you. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.